Hello, welcome back to the channel of HKBU Phonology Lab. Last time we talked about the devices to use in fieldwork recording. This time we'll share some tips on how to do fieldwork recording. First, we connect the microphone to the recorder. Put the plug here, they are connected. Now we put the microphone over the speaker's head. For this sure microphone, we can adjust the position to move it closer or further away from a speaker's mouth and use the adjustment knob to fix its position. We can also raise or lower the headband so that it can fit the size of a speaker's head. Here's a thing we need to pay attention to. We should not put the microphone directly in front of the mouth. This is very important because for some songs, it may distort the recording, in particular some plosives like the first consonant in the word PARK. 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 This is where the puff of air hits the microphone, and we don't want this in our analysis. It would be better if we put the microphone about one inch from the corner of the speaker's mouth. Next, Turn on the Tescon recorder. See the screen? It's ready to take the recording. Before we start the real recording, we'd better do another thing. That is, we can ask the speaker to utter some sounds like E, A, U. You will see the volume indicator here. We do not want it to go too close to this end. If a sound is too loud, we will see part of the sound wave is cut off and the recording is distorted. To avoid this, the easiest way is to adjust the microphone. We can make it a bit further away from the speaker's mouth until this bar does not go too close to the higher end of the volume indicator. Now, we press the record button here. The number is rolling and the recording has started. To end a recording, press the stop button, and what the speaker has said will be stored as a sound file. As a suggestion, it will be better to stop the recording after a few minutes so that we have a separate sound file saved. In case anything unexpected happens, we still have what the speaker has produced before, and we don't have to do everything once again. After a recording is done, we need to transfer it to our computer. Remember to turn off the recorder first. While a Tascam recorder has its internal storage, it's actually easier to save the recording on an SD card. We can easily take it out, use a card reader to connect it to our computer. Copy and paste. Done. Using an SD card is quite convenient, especially if we want to frequently back up our recording. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about our lab, please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get updates.